Two men have been found guilty of murdering a gifted teenager in a tragic case of mistaken identity. 17-year-old Amir Siddiqui was stabbed to death on his doorstep in Cardiff by 38-year-old Ben Hope and 39-year-old Jason Richards, who were high on heroin at the time. The men had been paid £1,000 each to kill a businessman, but in their stupor, they went to the wrong house. Amir's parents both sustained injuries as they tried to save him. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Andy Davis, was in court. 17 years old, bright, much loved, and destined for a career in law, Amir Siddiqui's promising young life was taken in a matter of seconds, stabbed repeatedly on the threshold of his own home by two hired, heroin fueled killers who went to the wrong house. His parents, Iqbal and Pardi, and Ahmad Siddiqui, who tried so desperately to fight off their son's killers, and who were themselves stabbed in the attack, walked out of court today, holding hands, and stood quietly behind their three daughters as this long trial finally ended. Today's guilty verdict is the right one, and as a family, we're both delighted and relieved. The world has moved on in almost three years since the murder, but for us, the attack is as fresh as, as if it happened yesterday. How different their lives once were. Happily settled in the Roth Park Lake District of Cardiff, Iqbal Ahmed, a retired civil servant, was at home with his wife, Parveen, and the youngest of their four children, Amir. It was a Sunday in April. Amir was upstairs studying, preparing to return to a sixth form college where he was a big character. Amir was special in, in so many different ways. He was, uh, he was an exceptional student academically, but uh, more than that, he really was someone who lit up the lives of the people here at Cardiff Academy. And I can't think of any other word. We all loved him. Um, that, combined with the fact that this is such a small college, uh, made a tremendous impact on us when, uh, when he was murdered. On the 11th of April 2010, at half past one in the afternoon, two men, Jason Richards, 38, on the left, and Ben Hope in the grey shirt, who's 39, drove into Armia's neighbourhood. Both from Cardiff, both heroin users, they'd been hired by a man who cannot be named for legal reasons, to kill another man over a dispute about a collapsed property deal. Their intended target lived here, but in what was described as an act of staggering incompetence and wickedness, this is the house they ended up at. It was Amir's mother who first noticed someone at the front door. She recalled her husband singing a song at the time. There'd been a happy atmosphere in the house, she said. And she recalled when the doorbell rang, Amir coming downstairs offering to answer it. He thought it was his Quran teacher. Wearing balaclavas, Hope and Richards went in howling, stabbing Amir time and again. Amir's elderly father ran at one of the men, grabbing his hand, but he in turn was stabbed. Amir's mother then jumped on the back of the other man who was leaning over, stabbing her son, screaming, no, no, leave him alone. She too was stabbed. Amir died in front of them on the floor of their hallway. He was a heartbeat of our family, a very bright and promising young man. And in fact, uh, we, as far as I'm concerned and my wife is concerned, over all the future planning was really went around him. They are just an ordinary family, they told me today, who are grateful for these verdicts. I knew they were guilty, but to hear it from the jury is um, it's amazing. I don't know. I can't describe it. It's, uh, we can't, we can't, the verdict, we can't get back Amir, but at least the community will be safe. The other, other children will be safe. During the trial, Richards said Hope carried out the murder. Hope blamed Richards. Police were able to link both to a stolen car in which Amir's blood was found. It's thought the two men had agreed to go and kill that day in return for around a thousand pounds each. Ben Hope and Jason Richards will be sentenced next week.